Hi guys and girls, welcome to face back to another episode of Single Player Tarkov, Zero to Hero. It's your boy Restigator in 97. How are you all doing this fine evening? So yeah, in the last episode we managed to finish off the Punisher Part 3. And we also managed to start doing the Spa Tour Part 1, which is we go around and kill a load of scabs with headshots on shoreline with the 12 gauge shotgun. We also like to say welcome your faces to the new free new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, but yeah, we um, we'll be moving and we'll run a shoreline for the first raid, and we'll try and finish off that. Um, we'll try and finish off this bar tour part one. And then Punisher Part Four. I mean, we could then run, yeah, we'll run a woods. We'll run a woods after, and we'll do woods and the Lemleys. But yeah. Anyway, on that note, I'm gonna love you and leave you, and I'll see you guys and girls in the raid. Catch you in a sec. Right, let's get it. Pop out the 16 pounds of this inside and this ain't trying to drop. Whoop. Dum 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 on the way to side. Just put one of these quickly. But seeing as we gotta get up close and personal with these scabs, I think to be fair we only need like four or five more. Thank you. 
There we go. That's one of the scab kills down, that's handy dandy. How many more do I need to put through? Oh, just two more, down. That'll be all good. There we go. Drop another scav. To be fair, once we got up to the health and sort, it'll make life a little bit easier, a little bit more. The scavs will be a little bit easier to find. No, we've got to play it cautious through here, so no PXCs like to roll through here. And there's not a scab down here today. Bring out the ranged weapon just in case. Pop into any PMCs along the route. I'll be honest, I have started to quite enjoy running two guns. But it's the only problem is you kind of limit yourself on what you can take out, which is, yeah, it's good and bad. That was butchered. That was definitely not in the head either. Got close to my four. to the head was it to the head no That's got to be in the fucking head. 
Yes. Fuck you, little bitch. Give me a bullet, sir. Yeah, I'll take them. We'll need them. Right, let's get some scav kills. There's not a single scav down there, I'll be up there. Got some food. Really good with some drink. Is that propane? It is a propane. I think that was a scav. That definitely wasn't a scav. Oh, it was a scav. Oh, there's the pin too. It's a scav going. I want to say no to a hand grenade. Oh, not saying no to a hand grenade, guys and girls. Anything of value, anything of value. Pineapple juice! So all the scavs this side are fucking dead. Another f oh my god.
you got nothing of value to me. There's one. Just go right Not your custom, so I need to go all the way along here. Need to go right the custom. Oh, by the way, there's one of those things, right across the place today. Right right house on the hill. House on the hill.
There we go, happy days. Bottle part one, done, yay. It's bottle part one. Ooh, 3000 XP, I won't say no to that either. Well, no, 4K XP actually. Scav, 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 scav. No players. Oh shit, we're nearly level 27. What are you doing there, boys and girls? Get in there, get in there, get in there. So yeah, I have noticed a couple of you guys and girls have been mentioning about this game. It, it's not normal Tarkov. Um, it is and it isn't. So, in essence, the games are identical. The maps are the same, the guns are the same, the weapons work the same. You can, in single player, add mods to it, and you can make the guns a little bit better, and you can make the ammo actually do what it's meant to do. But if you just download single player Tarkov, straight off the bat, and install no mods, it will be identical to regular Tarkov. Only difference being, there is no online characters, you do not go against anyone else, it is single player. AKA it is you dropped in with a load of AI bots around you. Yes, it may not seem very realistic. Sometimes the bots are bots and it's what you expect. It's like going into bot lollies in Cobb. Sometimes you can literally stand there going, hi, 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 behind someone and they won't have a clue you're there. You can kill them and they'll still be like, oh, how did he kill me? And shit like that. It's a bit like that. And then sometimes they're god tier and they will kill you before, like you saw them when we were running initially in the first raid. We ran past the um, grotto bit and all of a sudden just doof, 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 coming in, no idea where, can't see any players, can't see a movement on the island and yet you don't know where them shots come from. But they, they ring in and they will hit you and they will kill you with two free taps. So yeah, yeah, that's that's the only difference. So yeah, as I saw in one of your comments, yeah, but you run around with no armor. If I'd have done that in Tarkov, I'd be dead in free shot. Yeah, but again, you'd also probably get shot by another PMC, like another player-controlled character. Like, it won't be an AI bot. And the scavs, they are just running as normal. Like, so with the scavs in Tarkov, the longer and longer this single scav aggroes you. So say you've got sniper scav on customs the one above on the checkpoint the longer and longer that guy gets aggroed on you and you alone the more and more that scav's accuracy will increase so he hits you once neck out of three shots then it'll be he hits you twice out of three shots and then when he's been aggroed for a long time it will hit you with all three of the shots and drop you that's how they work they just that aggro depends on where you are, what you're doing to them, um, shit like that. You can aggro them faster, so the more you shoot at them, the quicker their accuracy gets better. So this is why I say with scavs, take your time, look for your shot. Make sure you've got your shot before engaging in scavs, because they can turn around and within two minutes they're aggro the hell on you, and they can drop you pretty quickly. But again, most scavs don't wear armor, so you can just turn around and pop them in the head. But yeah, I, I hope that clears a few things up and that kind of clears the light on things, if you get what I mean. So yeah, there's no there's no other people playing against me in this game. It is just standard AI and just like computer programs that I play against. So yeah, it's, it doesn't take as much skill. But again, this is not Tarkov. I'm not claiming this is Tarkov. I'm not bringing this to you as, ah, oh, my Tarkov streamer and I'm amazing at etc. I am dog shit escape from Tarkov. As you can see, I still lose to the bots. This is just more a training tool, and I'd highly recommend everyone downloading it. If you play Tarkov and you want to get better and you don't have time just to keep spending money in raids, you don't have the time just to keep grinding and grinding and grinding, chuck this on, a couple hours go by, and you don't have to run with anyone. You can have it, you can set it up, you can mod it, you can change the difficulties. You can tailor it to how you want to play. If you don't want to play Tarkov so seriously, turn the bots down. Make them on easy. Like, you can do that if you really want to. It's just, it's personal preference. And that's why I say, yeah, single-player Tarkov is a great game to download. 
because you could just use it as a, to a tool and it will end up like benefiting you in the long run like, i've noticed since playing single player tarkov and doing this series for you guys and girls my actual tarkov knowledge has got a lot better because i've learned a lot more of the maps i've learned a lot more of the call outs and i've also learned how the game feels more because the more and more you play it it's kind of like that you kind of sit there and you're like right, okay you get the mechanics of the game a little bit more fluidly because it comes second nature but yeah that's what i'd recommend is download this play this if you if so what actually drove me towards this was it was coming towards end of wipe i got fed up of being broke and i got fed up of just going against god tier armor and weapons when i don't have anything god tier myself i was on level two traders level 30 like i weren't nothing amazing i weren't super high but i mean, i wasn't a noob i have dropped 700 odd hours on this tarkov game so far this wipe i have done a lot but yeah it's it's one of them i fell out of love with tarkov for a long while because it was just becoming too hard i couldn't keep up with the other players and i just didn't enjoy the game i was really getting frustrated with it i found this gave this a try and oh my god this has brought my love back for the game and now i can't wait for white which should be hopefully this weekend fingers crossed and all that and then yeah i i haven't put this i haven't put it down again and i've been really playing normal tarkov as well offline like without streaming and recording quite often at the moment and i've been really enjoying it so yeah that's what i'm saying it's a good game that if you like tarkov but sometimes you find normal one gets you too stressed out and you want it to like have a little bit more of a chilled tarkov experience download this and it'll it'll keep that love of the game going without you losing the love from the f pure frustration but yeah anyway on that note we made it out and um, we did pretty well so we've got a scav vest and we've got a propane which is nice 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 i'll flip that around yeah i can flip that around there you go put the gas analyzer in there oh, i actually might as well drink that use that drink that Now we can get rid of this. Sh oh no, we need the shotgun. <laughs> what's in the shotgun? Ah, forget. So what are we running now? We've got. We're gonna do that lend lease and he's gonna get the gyroscope and the axle. And let's cast a shotgun. There was one more. Where can we have? That's the one I wanted. Informed means arms. I need to get a Wi Fi camera. Wifi camera. What's that black pig on here? Oh, yeah, the extra. Cheers, bitch. I have noticed that they've taken off that. Um, they've taken it off, and it's annoying now because you can't make money. And so you can't make rep with them anymore. Why? So any scavs? Wi-Fi camera. Uh-huh. 
So yeah, guys and girls, I think I'll rather than leave you right here, and we're gonna hop into Ray. So I'll catch you guys and girls in Ray. See you in a sec. Right, let's get it. Like a rock. So, yeah, let's go to Sawmill. Um, not Sawmill. We'll go outskirts. So we'll go. We'll go down to what's it called for? Uh, med camp. Try and get some kills. Try and get some of the scab kills. Push it nice and quickly. Push and get scab kills nice and quick. Beautiful. Thank you. Plane food and drink straight off the bat. I won't say no. Yeah, we'll put we'll push into med camp and we'll go for some scab kills and craft gauge. I can't do that too quick with this. Oh yeah, I forgot. Ah oh, well, tough guy. I forgot you can't even take painkillers. It's annoying because it says medication and I guess painkillers are a type of medication, but I wish it'd let you pre-med at least. I forgot to prepare my four armor. This could be spicy. This could be a spicy, spicy raid. Anything? Mm. Come on, bring them to me. There we go.
course I don't have a CMO. Spicy. Yeah, but where? Jesus Christ, this is intense. And we got PMC on our butthole as well. I need to get my legs done, I need to get my legs done. <laughs> okay. This guy had some tankiness of I'm gonna have to take his fucking rig. God. 
this guard. Pass out some tents. That was very, very intense, guys. Go. Now I need a CMS. Soap off for months. Scatter have I got with that? A five. Well, they came at us thick and fast, didn't they? Well, I fucked off whatever it was to get the scarf, so. It's a scarf. So where do I have to put this fucking...
what is it again? It is fucking, where is it? Informed means arms. To watch the sawmill dock. Come on. I just need to find out where, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's literally that pile of wood on the floor, seriously. Okay, at least I know where it is now, though. Yeah, apparently it's literally this here. There we go. And there's me just figure it's actually in a logical place, you know what I mean? Like up high or next to a building or near to some power source. Nope, it's just on a fucking plank of wood. Oh, well, it's Tarkov. Sorry, buddy. I just want the safe. I'm full. Right, let's go. He's around here to my right. Oh, you fucking beauty. Someone always coming in clutch. Thank you. 
There we go. There we go, that's the Punisher pop for Dawn. Simple, just like that. Well, now we'll make a skedaddle towards the extract. But yeah, we'll make a skedaddle towards um, the outskirts. Oh my god, I can't even remember what freaking ones I've got to do now. Jesus, I used to I see like I used to know was like the back of my hand. It's my go to map. Now I'm just like mm, I don't play it that often anymore. I've started learning other maps, so I've started playing other maps. Right, yeah, I'd say my most my favourite one that I've learned probably gotta be streets. I do enjoy streets. Streets is fun. But the issue with streets is I'm limited who I run with. Just in case anyone is over here. One on one on one. Take that. Take that. Take that. is not worth if so from where Fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit. <sighs> that is some fucking bullshit right there. Oh my god, that pisses me off. Why is there a fucking player there? Oh, that's a fucking annoying. Oh well, at least we got one of our top two. Oh no, we didn't even get two of our fucking tasks. Oh my god, one! Because he needs to survive an extract. <sighs> oh, that's annoying. Again, this is Tarka for you. As I was like, nah, someone's running up behind me. I need to fight this. And the issue with the AI is they run one way, then they stop, then they run the other way, and then they run back the other way. Right, you, it, the fucking audio is so broken in this game, you just can't tell when they turn. Oh, that's piss poor. Okay, okay, okay. That's, that's, that's not too bad then. That's not too bad. I've just got to install the storm. I've just got to install the Wi-Fi cameras. It's not too bad, okay. I don't lose that then. That's pretty good. Oh, we get a voodoo from it as well. That's got to be good. That is actually nice. The voodoo. Hmm, okay, that's good to know. Lighthouse, we get the unlock the DVL. Scout, we just get a shit ton of money for. 
And the Punisher Part 4, where you can buy BTGS. <laughs> yeah, now we just need to equip the bally and go hump PMCs on Shoreline, which I am not going to look forward to. Because I'll be brutally honest, I fucking hate him. Like, I just, I can't get on with, I've tried so hard, but I just, I cannot get on with the freaking, what's it called? Sure, uh, it's, it's just not my map. 95H818. I'm guessing it's that one then. Yeah, bar A, uh, okay, it's that one. It's not the Damascus knife, it's the normal one. So, yeah, it's just these knives I need to collect. That's not too bad. But, yeah, anyway, guys and girls, that's going to be it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll probably... We could probably do... Actually, no, I lied. We'll do a woods run in the first one. We'll get them free scav kills. We'll grab the controller and the unit. And then we might as well go to somewhere like Shoreline or something and start banging out some of these. And we'll start wearing the scav vest and the PM balaclava. And we'll just start eliminating. Which is the only good thing. You can pick any gun you want. You can run any gun you want. And we got to fight. But yeah. Anyway, guys and girls. Thank you again for the love and support. I am actually in the process of sorting out the single player standard edition for you guys. That should be up latest tomorrow. So yeah, hopefully I'll get it done today. If I can't get it done today, it'll be live tomorrow uh, about midday for your faces. But yeah, thank you again for the love and support. It means the world to me. Don't forget to smash that like button so I can get this video out to more faces. And we can grow this army a little bit bigger and more and more and more. Also, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And leave that little notification bell turned on so you never miss an upload. I try to upload these for 5 o'clock every day if I can get them done in time. And obviously I will be dropping before the weekend the standard edition for single player Tarkov. But yeah guys and girls, it's your boy Westy Gamers 97 signing off for this evening. Wherever you are in the world, stay, there, stay safe. Peace!